into the midst of the city, wailing with a loud and bitter cry. And in every province where the king's command and his decree came, there was great mourning among the Jews, with fasting and weeping and lamenting, and most of them lay in sackcloth and ashes. In the Bible, Ash for a sign of crying unto God during times of penitence and trouble. And the church Lent is a season for penitence. In this season, we call upon God in a remorseful spirit, seeking God's healing and forgiveness. On Ash Wednesday, the palms of the previous year are burned, and the ashes are used to mark the sign of the cross upon worshippers. This mark recalls the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Lent, Christians are called to a time of deep self-examination and sorrow for their failings and a resolve to follow Christ Jesus. Thank you. 
and these other things. And so, God, be with us. We thank you, God, for the blessings you've given us. This past pancake supper, it looks like we made about $786, which is up a couple hundred dollars from last year. We thank you for that. We thank you for the women in our lives and the many blessings they bring us. We thank you for Sandra Dupie being with us here today. And we thank you for the Pancake Supper being successful for our uh, summer camp program of $786. And all the people that participated, either in attending or working or cleaning up. God, for all of these blessings, we give you thanks and praise. And yet, Lord, despite your blessings, there are times that we are tempted to look to other things to make us feel better, whether it's food or um, even military might. And so God, forgive us for the times that we do that, and for any other sins that come to our hearts and minds that we lift you now in silent confession. Lord, hear our prayer.
given to us to share with others who are growing this week.